Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me today and for this week I decided to use the kit called Purr from my shop and like always I used a couple of the sheets as well as the glitter headers. Um, also, I was talking to one of my friends recently and he was telling me how um, apparently I start all my videos the exact same way by saying hey guys it's Shani and he wasn't into it. So if you're watching this, shout out to you, aka I hate you, stop making fun of me. Um, but you guys let me know, uh, do you guys like that I start it the exact same way every week or do you want me to change it up? Like I could go, hi guys, you know, um, can't really think of what else I can say. But yeah, I kind of like that. <clears throat> Sorry, I kind of like that I start it the same way, but I don't know, he was making fun of me. So I'm like, okay, well, screw you. <laughs> Um, anyway, so uh, for this week, like I said, I'm using the per kit from my shop and it is still available. Um, my shop is always linked in the description, by the way. It's usually one of the first few links. Um, yeah, and so I decided to cut the washi in half. I used an X-Acto knife um, and just put one piece along the bottom and one across the top. And then moving on to the sidebar, I used the quote box, which says, if the shoe fits. And um, I don't always have quote boxes in my kits. Like I oftentimes will just have like one big deco sticker, but <clears throat> because this kit was so deco filled, I thought a quote box was appropriate. So I decided to do that. And then like always, I used a habit tracker. I decided to use glitter headers to split things up this week. Um, and yeah, so I just used one of the colors. I put a full box. Uh, sorry, like a, an ombre box for my to-dos. Um, I put down this weekly box for my Instagram schedule and then the social media tracker at the bottom as well as the Ava sticker, which is like her hugging the planner. Also, have you guys ordered your 2018 Erin Condren's yet? Um, I know this isn't an Erin Condren, but I'm just curious because I just ordered mine yesterday. I got the 18-month uh, planner, the neutral one with the rose gold coil. I know I was talking on Instagram and saying that I'm considering waiting until the next Erin Condren release, but like, who was I kidding? I love my Erin Condren and I honestly can't. Like, I considered switching to an A5, but I couldn't do it. I just, I, I love the coil. I love the planner and I will figure it out. I mean, I was considering going with the colorful because Sometimes I do like the white space spreads with the full boxes and the different boxes, if that makes sense. But I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm going to play with it. And then, yeah, so starting July, I'm going to have two planners for the rest of 2017. So I will probably be doing some plan with me's in the Erin Condren um, as well. And I'll probably do some in the happy planner still. But let me know what you guys prefer. Do you guys like seeing happy planner spreads or Erin Condren ones? Because I know a lot of people have Erin Condren's, but I feel like a lot of people on YouTube also do Erin Condren spreads and I don't see nearly as many happy planner ones. So I feel like it's kind of fun seeing, um, I don't know, what you can do with the different Erin Condren kits in the happy planner. So let me know what you guys think and maybe I can do like a combination of the two, whatever you guys want. Um, yeah, um, I love both planners. I like them for different things. Like, I don't think I would be able to use Happy Planner as my main planner just because I don't do plan as I go spreads um, as my main type of like planning style. Um, I usually do like I kind of plan. I don't really know how to explain my planning style, but it's definitely not like this. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to space things out well and yeah, so all of these are post-planned. I've, I've mentioned that in like a couple of videos, but if you are new, all of these spreads that I do here are post-planned. I don't pre-plan in my videos just because I feel like that's too confusing and I also don't really pre-plan my days um, fully in advance ever. So yeah, anyways, I'm totally not talking about what's going on in this spread. I'm really sorry, just feeling really talkative and I guess I had a lot to say, but Anyways, most of the things that I've put down so far were from the kit. Um, the only things that weren't was that airplane sticker on Monday, which was when we were traveling home from Puerto Rico. Um, we went for breakfast in the morning, which is like where I put the coffee sticker. We went, just went to go grab some iced coffee. I watched um, the Founders movie on the plane, which is that like new McDonald's movie. So I kind of wanted to mark it because I actually really enjoyed the movie. 
Um, and then at the bottom of Monday, I wrote down what I did like during my layover, which I thought was kind of funny. Like I wrote down McDonald's in Atlanta just because I just watched the Founders movie and then I'm like, ooh, I'm feeling McDonald's. So that's kind of why I wrote it. And those two little labels that I used for that as well as the five hour layover um, were leftovers from Little Miss Papery. And then at the bottom, I just wrote down that my boyfriend picked us up from uh, the airport. Um, on Tuesday, like I said, everything is from the kit. Um, the only thing that isn't is like the Mickey Mouse stickers and those are also from my shop. Um, yeah, the class stickers from my shop as well as the pencils, they are just not part of the kit, but they are from the shop. Uh, the Naptime Panda on Wednesday evening was also from my shop. Um, I think it's called the Naptime Panda sticker sheet. So yeah, on to Thursday, I put down a teardrop and a money bag to write down what week we're on for the 52 week savings challenge. I put down um, an appointment label as well as a nail polish sticker to write down that I had to paint my nails. Um, I used that full box of that girl holding like the little cat balloon. Honestly, I don't really know. Is it a balloon? Oh yeah, definitely a balloon, but that's a different looking balloon. Um, what else did I put down? I wrote that I had to go to the post office and I used the little envelope with the hearts coming out of it. And for the black stickers in this kit, I used a jelly roll like in the white color. It's not perfect, like it's a little streaky. It's not my favorite white pen, but it's the only one I've tried. I do wanna try a different one. I can't remember what it's called, um, but I've seen some other people use it. So I'm gonna look into getting that. Uh, I also wrote down that I had class on Thursday as well and that I had to edit and the laptop sticker um, was also in the kit and as well as the planner sticker, the marble planner. I'm absolutely in love with it. I kind of want to make like a full sheet of marble planners, but yeah, we'll see about that. Um, so then on to Friday, I just put a little asterisk on Friday and Sunday because I was having a Mother's Day sale that was all weekend long. And I just wanted to write when it started and when it ended. That um, scale is from, it's a leftover from a caress press kit that I used a long time ago. I was just writing down that I went to the gym. Um, the girl with the laptop is from this, from my shop. And it's just like Ava on her computer doing some work because I had to um, read for one of my courses. And like I was reading the lecture slides. So that's why I used um, the computer, the what is that? A laundry basket? I honestly can't remember, but I believe it's a leftover from a kit I used a while ago. Um, also, how pretty is the full box on Saturday? I love the detail on it, like in that little bralette. I, I don't know, I'm like smitten with it. Um, on Sunday, as well as Saturday evening, I used some TV stickers. So like one of them was a TV one and the other one said Netflix and chill. And those are both from Paisley Prince Co. The movie marquee right there is from my shop and these are misprints just because they're slightly shorter than the Erin Condren boxes but the ones in the shop are you know like full one and a half inches or however long it is exactly so just thought I should mention that but they're not totally off so for myself I was like I don't really mind especially if I can do like things like use Minnie Mouse stickers like that um, to kind of hide it a little bit. And yeah, what else did I put down? I was just writing down that I was having dinner with my friend. Um, I was writing down that it was Mother's Day, although my mom was out of the country, so I couldn't really spend Mother's Day with her. Um, I was also writing that I was like binging this girl Bram T's vlog, and that's about it. I really hope you guys liked this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!